in the line-out, you needed the perfect foil. And there's no doubt that you found that perfect foil in the form of uh, Bucky Spurter, mm. who's become known as the combo. Tell us about that relationship and wh where it started. And did you feel instinctively when you played together for the first time that this is a partnership and a combination that could go far? Yes, going back to Bucky's, um, I, th I remember the first game we played against each other. Um, he played for the Falcons, I played for Griquas. He was about 107 kgs, he was playing loose forward. I was 120 playing for Griquas. But in that first game, I already knew, here's something about this guy. He was the dirtiest, hardest bugger. He was only 19 years old. I think it was his first year out of school and he was just into us and he was irritating and he was keeping everyone busy. And I thought, who the hell is this kid? And then I arrived at the Bulls um, after my stand at Griquas and they said, uh, Heineke Meyer said, this is going to be your combination. The two of you are going to play together. And I thought, this is a loose forward. I don't like this guy a lot. He's driving like a, a car with uh, his boot were full of um, amps and I don't know whatever. And he had a purple, no, Lanos, I think it was. Yeah, I said, no, it can't be. But um, no, like it happened, uh, I think we changed. In the beginning, he was very mobile. It was about 107, 108 kgs. But, um, yeah, it's all about the combination. I think uh, when we started founding and understanding our roles and each guy's strengths and weaknesses, we just knew how this is going to work because I was I was a bit looser than him, uh, playing out wider. Uh, Bucky's with a physical guy at the breakdowns. Uh, when it comes to really enforcing yourself, that was Bucky's role. Where um, I tell the guys the story up to. Probably his last game he played for the Springboks. Every time we went down in the scrum, I would say, Bucky's the second ruck, you must do that. Third guy, and he'd just say, thanks, combo, and then we'll just go. So um, also in the lineouts, I think some of the times he didn't even know the lineout course. He said, I don't have to know. I just look at Victor and I know what's going to come. So uh, yeah, it was a great combination. Uh, great, we became great friends at, as well. Um, we got married on the same weekend. Uh, then our first kids were born like two months out of each, from each other. And um, I think our last, or my second one, and his third kids also within a week or two of each other. So we grew up together. Um, he changed into a great guy where he was this wild youngster. He became a real family man, upstanding guy that's uh, really guys look up to him. And um, yeah, it was just a great combination. And looking at how people look at locks these days as well, a lot of the time they just want to go for the same type of guy that can do everything. And I think what really worked for us is because we were so different. I had my strengths, he had his strengths, but with those strengths, we really focused and we were very good at what we did. And um, that just uh, complemented each other. And Bucky's as well. I remember Eben, uh, when I just joined, Bucky's was there already for a few games. and. Eben, although he was this guy starting, he just had so much uh, respect for Bucky's. And we, if you see, Eben would have been with Bucky's and asking what he did there or how he, things work. And um, this is just great to see. And uh, I actually spoke to Richie Gray the other day. After Bucky's almost announced his retirement to the management, they went out for a Friday training. And um, Bucky's wasn't playing that weekend and he knew he was retired. But um, so, uh, like Richens, them they didn't know Bucky's was retired, so they took him with with the dirties to go train. And they say Bucky's were in front; he was hitting the backs, he was throwing people around, and just that. I think just that shows the character of Bucky's. Uh, after he retired, he still went out and he just showed the guys you give everything for the box. And um, yeah, he's been an inspiration for everyone. Just to move off. The